In last episode, we built this cozy library so that we're able to trade with all of our librarian villagers. And in today's episode, I would like to have a more chill episode and just work on some projects around the base. First things first, I really need to get mending on my axe because I'm not really able to collect any resources because my axe is about to break. So I'm gonna go ahead and trade for mending. That's really expensive. We'll definitely have to make that cheaper. Slowly but surely, we'll get mending on all of our equipment. It just so happens that our axe was first. Hello, little frog friends. They are living their best life. And there we go. We have mending on our axe now. And now I need to actually heal it up over at the skeleton spawner. I think eventually I would like to make a pathway going over to the skeleton spawner. We actually don't have to take the river. We can just walk straight there. So I think a pathway going all the way there would be pretty cool. Now that my axe is healed up, I would like to start gathering some materials for the projects that I have planned for today. So I'd like to build a dock here. I've been meaning to forever. And I think in today's episode, I'm finally going to get to it. And then I would also like to build a windmill. Neither of these builds are really going to have too much of a purpose. I think that they're just going to make our world look so much better and more filled out. And I think that the windmill will go up here kind of on top of our enchantment setup. Or maybe I will kind of scoot it over a little bit behind our barn just for the fact that I think that a windmill would make a little bit more sense closer to the farming village and the barn rather than the enchantment setup. Though I still really do want to build a build on top of this area facing that way. And I just don't think that a windmill facing that way would make as much sense as a windmill over here kind of behind the barn and behind the farming village. But before we even get started with the build or start clearing out an area for the build, I do have more materials together. I mentioned that in last episode, I am craving some color in my builds and I was really excited to start building with that crimson wood that we found in last episode. And I think I'm going to do that in today's project. Also, I completely forgot, but you all had mentioned Plenty of fun names for our pink axolotl. So probably once I get back from the nether, I'll name our pink axolotl. But off we go to the nether to gather some crimson wood. Yay, my favorite place. We have made it to the crimson forest. We have to be very careful of hoglands. I just want to get enough crimson wood to build with. That's all. I don't want to get too carried away. Though I did leave my hoe back at my base, so unfortunately we won't be able to really mine these blocks very easily and also the shroom lights. Oh my gosh, there's a blaze all the way down here. I have to deal with you enough all the way up there. I don't want to have to also deal with you in the crimson forest. I wanted to see over here a little bit just to see if we could find any other biomes, but it seems to be just a lot of crimson forest. We have a little over a stack of crimson wood, so I think that should be plenty. I'm gonna go ahead and head home. And of course it's nighttime. Honestly, I should probably put our bed right beside the nether portal, but you know. I like the idea of actually sleeping in my house. Like I built this house and if I don't sleep in it, then what's the point? And now to name our axolotl. Now there were so many great name suggestions for the axolotl. So thank you for all of the name suggestions, but I think I'm going to go with strawberry. There we go, little strawberry. So now we have strawberry and squishy. And like I said before, I want this pond to be filled with axolotls. So don't worry, there will be plenty of naming opportunities in the future. They're both so cute swimming around in the pond. And honestly, if we wanted to, we could breed them as well. So the last thing that I need to gather for the windmill is actually white wool. And I have about three pieces of white wool to my name. So I think that I'm going to create a temporary sheep pen and gather white wool that way. I'll just gather white wool as I'm building and continue to breed out the sheep. Eventually I do need to create some kind of sheep farm. Don't you worry, that is in the plans in the future. The last thing that I needed to get is cobbled deep slate and luckily I already have a ton of it. So I don't have to gather that. That. It's been a while since I've been down here. Honestly, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this space, especially since I already have diamonds, but I'm glad that I have it down here. 
I didn't mention this in the beginning of the episode, but for shaders, I think that I'm only going to use shaders for build time lapses and then probably at the end of the episode to show off the builds that I've done in that episode and all the projects. But I think other than that, I will probably not play with shaders. I never want you all to think that I'm hiding behind my shaders. So I think that I'll just mostly play without them. Now I'm just clearing out some space to be able to place this windmill. I'm still not 100% sure where I want to place it. I think that actually right here is a pretty good place because it's kind of in between the barn and the farming village and you would be able to see it kind of behind both builds. However, if I do that, I might have to get rid of this tree here and I love all of these giant oak trees. I don't really want to get rid of it. So that being said, maybe I'll kind of place it more behind this farming house right here. So just scoot it over a little bit and kind of place it right here. So for the color palette of this build, I think I'm going to do something kind of like this. I really want to use Deep Slate because we really haven't used it here on the surface. And then the crimson wood will just be an accent as well as the dark oak wood. And then of course, tons of stripped spruce wood. Oh yeah. And then of course we will use white wool too for the actual windmill blades. So now that you can kind of see what I'm going for in this build, I am going to go ahead and get to building. There we have it, our windmill is complete. Windmills are definitely a little bit finicky to build because you have to keep on it towering up and down in order to make the blades, but I love how this turned out so much. This is definitely our tallest build in the world so far, so I think it just adds so much to the skyline and it looks so cool as you're walking around the base because you can even see it from up here behind the barn and it just adds so much. Now, does this windmill really have a purpose? Not really. I was thinking about putting our brewing system inside of it, but honestly, it just doesn't really make sense to put a brewing system inside of a windmill. Of course, I could definitely do that. There's no rules here, but I think I would rather make, oh, I forgot a block right there. Oh no. But I think I would rather make some kind of wizard tower instead to put our brewing system in. Okay, there we go, all better. So as of now, this build is just for looks, which is perfectly okay with me. Again, I think it adds so much to the world, so that's enough use for me. I think that I will put plenty of wheat around it just to make it fit in a little bit better. And then of course, we'll have some kind of pathway. And there is an interior, so I could do something with it if I ever think of something. But I need to go ahead and start cleaning up my workspace. And then I would really like to start terraforming and building the path around the windmill. Even from in the village, we can see the windmill pretty good. I just love it. I love it so much. I love building windmills in Minecraft. I think that they look so good and it just makes sense in Minecraft. Like it's a very Minecraft build, you know? I now have all of my terraforming and path creating supplies. So I think that I want to build just a path going from this pathway right here all the way up to the windmill. I'm also going to add my little baby lamp posts just like this and then maybe another one right here perfect and then we don't really have any right here so i'm gonna go ahead and put another one here don't make fun of my baby lamp posts i love my baby lamp posts and of course we can do without a little bush action with some sweet berries 
more sweet berries you can never have too many sweet berries and i think they just look so good because once they grow it adds just a little bit more color to your world i added some sweet berries on top of our library over there and i think it looks so good i honestly didn't think it was going to turn out that good but it really contrasts with the green and i think it looks so good did i mention that i think it looks so good we'll also add some little fences around maybe pop another fence right here and I didn't really put any fences around here, so I might as well add just a couple. And maybe some more sweet berries. I wonder how many times I'm going to step on that sweet berry. Probably so many. I also have plenty of rose bushes to put around. I think they just stand out so much from your build, especially with so much green around. So I like to add lots of those rose bushes and lilacs, though they don't really look too good together. And it already just looks so much more filled in with just a simple pathway. This is the most simple pathway I think you could ever build, but it just looks so much better already. I saw that someone mentioned that these are actually azalea saplings, and I did know that, but it did slip my mind and I haven't really thought about growing any azalea trees. And I think that would be a great addition. I have about seven flowering azalea bushes. Honestly, I don't think it really matters whether it's flowering or not but I will go ahead and grow just a couple because I think it would add a little bit to our base just to have a couple of azalea trees instead of just a bunch of oak trees and birch trees maybe we'll put one right here oh so cute how did that come out does it just come out the top did you see that azalea bush just pop out I don't really know how that happened but I guess I won't complain and then I guess I'll put another one maybe here Beautiful. And then I really need to have some trees around the windmill too, I think, just because it looks a little bit empty. Also, I should probably free these sheep. I don't really need them right now. And honestly, I don't want just this random sheep pin clogging up my base. So, oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. I'm sorry. Go be free. Have your best life. We can just have sheep roaming around our base. It's fine. And then maybe I'll put one more azalea tree back here. Maybe right here. Oh, and then maybe I'll bone meal the ground and just get a little bit more grass going. I did that through this forest here and I think it looks a lot better. I kind of forget that bone mealing the ground is a thing that you can do. And you don't just have to manually do all of the terraforming. You can just do this and it kind of helps. Oh, I guess I did say that I was going to plant some wheat around here. I should probably go ahead and get started on that before I completely put plants everywhere and completely forget about that. I will use our handy dandy well. Perfect, and say hello to the villagers. Hello, villagers. Hello, Iron Golem. Hello, more villagers. We have plenty of villagers. And we have another Iron Golem over there as well. So it looks like we have two Iron Golems around here. I am sorry, plants that I just placed, but I think I need to put weed around here instead. I think it just fits better. And I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually hide little water sources underneath the windmill. Oh, look, we have another cat in the village. Hello, kitty cat. We have to tame one of these for sure. Oh, he's so cute. I don't have any fish, unfortunately, though I do want to build a fishing dock in today's episode. So maybe that's something that we can do is get some fish so that we can tame a little kitty cat. I think I'm going to leave our little wheat garden just like this for now with the fences and lampposts. And of course, I can continue to expand it even more. But for now, I think I'll leave it like this. And I'll also check it at the end of the episode to see how the wheat has grown up. And I think it'll fit in really well with the windmill. And also just look how massive it is. It's so big. Now the last path work that I need to do is connect the library over with this path over here. I started making a path, but I definitely didn't finish it. So I just need to continue to get it in. And then of course we'll add a little fence action and probably a fence here to stop us from falling down into this ravine. But if there's something cool that we can do with this ravine, I'm definitely down to do it. And this poor little cow is stuck. But right now it's just kind of an eyesore and it's kind of just in the way. But it is very minecraft-esque you know we have the pathway mostly in but last but not least i would like to of course just bone meal the ground and make it look a little bit more overgrown this is a forest after all and maybe we can add another flowering azalea tree there we go just to add a little bit more variety and there we have it the path is pretty much complete nice and overgrown just like i like it'd be cool to add some like hanging fairy lights almost 
from some of these bigger trees. I think that would be a good addition. Maybe I will get to that. I think that would look really good. And also this area is kind of begging for a little baby custom tree. We have these little custom trees over here that I made. I like this one so much better than that one over there, but I think it would look really good to put it right here. But before I do any more smaller projects, I really want to get this dock in. I'm just going to put it right over here like I've been meaning to do for a very long time now. And I think it would be cool to just have kind of like a docking area around here, though I think just for now, I will probably focus on the dock coming out over the water. And then eventually maybe I can put a little fisherman house or just some kind of like cargo area. So I think for this build, I'm going to want plenty of campfires, probably some spruce trap doors. And might as well just grab some spruce logs while we're at it. Possibly some barrels. I don't know, maybe some stone brick walls. Or maybe I would like spruce fences better. And I think I'm going to try to work just with that for now. I have no idea what I'm doing. I haven't tried to build this dock in a creative world or anything. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm not going to do anything too crazy or elaborate. Just something simple and functional. So maybe I can do some kind of like start there and then maybe another start here. Maybe push back the land just a little bit. So we'd have something kind of like this and then it's gonna go out over the water. And I'm thinking of using campfires here. Oh, not like that. Maybe like this. Before we get any further, I'm going to try to see how far I want this dock to go out. Maybe like this much? That's going to be a lot of spruce wood. Oh my goodness. And then maybe campfires the rest of the way down? I'm not sure. That's also a lot of campfires. So far we're looking at this with the rest of the campfires in and then just trapdoors here on the bottom. And then I was thinking about putting these walls along, but really I'm not sure. I'm just trying random things at this point. I mean, that's a dock. I don't think you would look at this and ask, what is that? So that kind of means a success, right? Right, is that how that works? Maybe I can add barrels here instead. Yeah, let's add some barrels. You know, just make our villager transportation that much harder for me. Maybe I can add a little like archway. Do we like the archway? Is it too small? Maybe I should make it one bigger. Does that look better? Maybe. Should I add another archway? Okay, how do we feel? How do we feel about it? I feel like I need to strip these now that it's much darker than those barrels. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip these. Okay, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't think it's the most unique, exciting, special thing out there, but I do think it serves its purpose. And then if we put our little boat here, look, it's a dock. We have ourselves a dock and maybe I can put some little lanterns here. Like I said, I of course want to make this more of a like cargo area with some barrels and chests and things like that. Maybe I can add a little tiny building right here, uh, but we'll see. I definitely need to connect it to the rest of the base because right now it's kind of just plopped out in the middle of the lake or the river rather. And then of course I need to actually create a pathway going to it because I've had this pathway here since like episode one going to the river or headed that direction, but I haven't ever actually finished it. But I don't really want to get the pathway in until I know for sure what I'm going to do along the shoreline because I don't really know exactly where I want to start the pathway. Also, I guess I never really addressed the fact that our shoreline is covered in sugarcane right now or that we have two trees in the middle of the river, but I will get to those eventually. I need to create some kind of sugarcane farm for sure, but this is kind of just what I've been doing for now at the moment. And then the best place to grow a giant spruce tree is definitely in the river or in the middle of some kind of water. So right now, that's kind of just what we've been doing. Let me know down below, where do you grow all of your wood for your builds? Do you just take it straight from a random forest? Do you just grow it in some random place in your base? Or do you have some kind of like designated wood gathering area? Definitely let me know because this is kind of the only way I've ever done it. So I don't really want to just like deforest an entire area, you know? But also, do I really want giant trees in the middle of my river for the rest of the time that I'm in this base? Probably not. 
but I figured that I would turn on some shaders real fast so you can see all of the new projects with the shaders on. Of course, we have our new dock with the shaders. And probably my favorite thing about shaders is honestly just walking through our pathways because then we get to see all of the shadows and the light rays and all of that. I just think that the forest looks so much more cozy with the shaders on. And of course, our library looks so good from last episode with the little sweet berries on the roof. And we have our cozy pathway that we built with the beautiful shadows from the forest. And of course, we can't forget about strawberry. Hello, strawberry. Hello, squishy. And last but not least, we have to look at our windmill. It looks so good in all areas of our base. I just love that we can see it pretty much wherever we are. We have this little new pathway as well going up to our windmill and look at it. It just looks so cool. I'm so glad that I decided to do the crimson wood. I know it's just the smallest addition and there's really not too much crimson wood on there, but I think it just adds the nicest little touch. And our wheat has slowly been growing and it looks so good too. I think it would definitely look a lot better if we continue to expand the wheat field out just a little bit but I'm just loving all of it so much. This is my little viewing spot up here on top of these trees. I just jump on top of this one and just look at it. Wow, that looks so good. And with the sunset, oh, our base looks so cozy. Might as well check up on the villagers a little bit too and see how they're doing. And of course, get another view of our beautiful windmill. This definitely makes me wanna add some taller builds to our world because it just adds to the skyline so much. So probably here in the next few episodes, I will add some kind of tower for sure for our brewing setup. But now it's turning nighttime, so I'm going to go to sleep in the villager's house. But I think that's about going to do it for today's episode. I definitely enjoyed this more chill episode. I've been progressing a lot in my world so far working on pretty much the overall goal of fighting the dragon and getting good gear, good armor, all of those things. So I really enjoyed just stepping back a little bit and just building things that make me happy and that just enhance our world. In next episode, I was thinking about exploring maybe because we have still yet to not find a mangrove swamp biome. So I would love to find one and just some other places around here. We've only done one exploring episode and that's all I've seen of the seeds so far. So feel free to like and subscribe and thank you so much for a thousand subscribers as well. That's honestly insane. Whenever I first uploaded my first episode of the series, I had 100 subscribers. I had taken a really long break from YouTube and then I decided to join back because I was just craving playing Minecraft on camera and recording it and editing videos because I honestly just love to record and edit videos so much and I had no intention of anyone watching these videos. I'm 100% serious. So when I tell you that it is insane that I have a thousand subscribers now, I'm being 100% truthful. I did not expect this outcome at all. So I love all of you all and thank you for all of the love and support that you've shown the series and that you've shown me. But enough of the gushy talk. I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!